From years of anxiety to warrior and mentor, Bradley Robinson created the Anxiety Project to help you end your anxiety naturally. Let's mold the new you and let's end anxiety together. Hey everybody, welcome to the Anxiety Project podcast number 11. I am Brad Robinson. I got a really important podcast and it's not just for people who suffer from anxiety or depression or are unhappy or full of stress. It's about going against the grain of popular thinking. What is popular thinking? Well, popular thinking is when the society is going with a certain way of thinking. Now, when society goes with a certain way of thinking, a lot of people are very automatic. They automatically listen to other people and they absorb that information. And then they take it with them. I remember when I was, well, I don't not necessarily struggling with anxiety, but growing up in my teenage years, in my early 20s, I took what everybody said and I just stored it in my head and I would think about what they said and I would use it. And that's when I, that's when I say popular thinking is, is not having a voice of your own. It, I didn't have a voice of my own. I absorbed what other people said and then I used it. And I, it's like I trusted what they said, you know, and having your own way of thinking, being ag- against what society thinks and what other people think and not questioning what other people think is a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing when you can't think on your own and that's what I that's what I want to say today and I want to get this across because I struggled with it and when I read about it and when I kind of realized in myself that you know wait a minute here I'm not really using my own rational thinking I'm, I don't I need to adopt a new way of thinking myself and after I learn about after I learned about this, I sat with myself in the coffee shop, just me and a tea, just sitting there. And I would just think for a little bit on my own, no distractions, no phone, no iPad, no nothing, no music. I would sit there and I would look out the window and I would think on my own and I would just be with myself and society today we're so attached we're pulled we're pulled with this technology with with people on YouTube and social media, we're pulled by them. Like It's like we can't go about our day without listening to them, without really, you know, going with what they say. It's like, it's like, okay, this, this, it's like this. Mu- music reviews. I, I remember I watched some people on YouTube review albums and I would l- sit there and listen and I'd be like you know I don't agree with this guy and you know I don't I don't agree with what they're saying about this album I really love this album you know and or it's I would listen to movie reviews and before I would see the movie I would watch all these reviews of people talking about the movie and blah 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 and take into account what they would say and all this stuff and I really enjoyed it but I, it's like I didn't have a voice of my own it's like I had to go with what other people said about the movie or go with what other people said about 
the the music or it's like I remember I really enjoyed this movie last year when I saw it and then I, I, I watched all these YouTube videos of movie reviews and then and then I changed my opinion about the movie but based on what all these other people were saying. But when I first saw the movie, I really enjoyed the movie. And this is what I say about popular thinking. I let those other people influence what I think about it, right? And and I automatically followed their opinion. And and that was wrong because it's important that we all adopt a certain rational thinking for ourselves. Take some time out of your day to sit with yourself and think about things. Think about what happened during the day at work and and what other people said because we absorb all of this stuff. If you don't have a guard up, you're absorbing this. And when you absorb it, you you start speaking like they do. You start thinking like they do. And that's where we are flawed and and we have to go against the grain of what these other people believe, what society believes. So, you know, people who go with popular thinking, are they taking the path of least resistance? You know, because when we go down a path of resistance, growth happens. When we go down a path of resistance, we start strengthening our mind muscle, right? Because when I take cold showers, it's not just for the health benefits, but it's for discipline. I take cold showers so I can discipline myself. So I can strengthen my mind muscle, right? Because I never, ever, ever want to jump into that cold shower. But I do it almost every day. And I do it because my mind says no, right? My mind says no, but I know that it's the right thing to do. I ignore it. So my mind says no. I'm like, it says no. I'm like, okay, well... You say no, what well, I'm gonna do it anyways. And I, then I jump into the cold shower. That's it's like a discipline. I'm strengthening that part of my brain that says, no, I don't want to. It's cold and it's early in the morning and and you know, I want to be warm and blah blah blah. And but then I'm like, you know, I'm going to do it because yeah, I I'm not gonna listen to you. That side of my brain that says no and 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 and, and pulls me in the wrong direction. It's, it's the part of my brain that pulls me to social media and, and following other people. It's, it's the part of my brain that pulls me towards addictions, you know? That it, it's, it's the part of my brain that pulls me towards alcohol or drugs, which I don't let it, especially with alcohol and drugs. I don't, I don't go that way, but... It's, it's, that's the part of the brain that we have to watch out for because that's the easiest route is going towards the, the drugs, going towards the alcohol, going towards the junk foods, the pizza. That's the pull that we need to watch out for. And people who go with popular thinking, they have a fear of rejection, being rejected, being an outsider. But that is the whole point of going against popular thinking. It's to be an outsider. It's to to go outside the normal. When we go outside the normal, great things happen. Great things happen in our lives when we go outside the normal. Who do you look up to that, that, has, that is successful and, and they have gone outside the norm? They step into situations where they feel uncomfortable, but they do it anyways. Why do they do it anyways? If if they have a fear of 
public speaking, if they have a fear of being on a talk show in front of all these people, if they have a fear of, of, of what other people think about their album or their work of art or, or whatever it is, they do it anyways, right? They do it anyways. People on YouTube, they criticize albums. Oh, this album sucks or this album, you know, is trash because what are they thinking? But do, those artists, do you think they're, they're, they're watching that video of that guy crap all over their, their album? I'd like, I would like to see the guy reviewing that album to make an album of his own to get to where they got because it's easy to sit there and review something on YouTube, but it's not when you have to create a, a, an album and to get people to listen to it and to sell out shows. It's, that's a harder route, right? And, and like find these role models that you look up to and important role models because you know you don't want to listen to music and and artists that that have music that promote drugs and and sex and and and, and all these bad habits i wouldn't want i wouldn't look up to those those artists because those artists are are are, are pulling you into a path and you start thinking like they do you start you listen to their music all the time and then you do what they're saying in the music you're doing what they do in their lifestyles that you know like a lot of these rappers do drugs and and not all of them because i i really much enjoy rap myself but i'm saying that depending on who you listen to and, and who you look up to is is important it's 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 bleeding out into your life and what in your habits and if you want to be a better person yourself then you got to watch out for these artists and what they're doing and what they're saying because they they're going to lead you down a path that is going to not benefit your life in any way whatsoever and and going against popular thinking it's important that you expose yourself to different people. Learn to appreciate how others think. You'll end up thinking like the, the people you spend your time with. So, so at work, who are you hanging around? Are you agreeing all the time with people that you don't really believe, but you're just agreeing with them so you can just fit in? You can just be there and, and so they appreciate you. Because if you are, then where's your voice? You know, what are your beliefs? Why are you agreeing with what this guy's saying? And 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 deep down you don't you don't at all. Like he's he's complaining, he's he's you know, has these beliefs about certain things that, you know, it's like criticizing things and you don't want to just agree with what people say all the time. You need your own voice. You know, and going against popular thinking, do you avoid taking risks or trying new things? It can be like, you know, try th- try things that you've never tried before, or doing, or doing things a different way, like driving to work in a different direction, eating different foods that you've never tried before. These are things that will make you uncomfortable, but strengthen your mind muscle. It'll 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 it'll. Your brain will thank you for it in the long run. It might be uncomfortable, but in the long run, it'll benefit you more. You know, this is this is going against popular thinking. You know, are you a people pleaser? 
being a people pleaser is going with popular thinking. You're just going with what everyone else says and 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 what people on TV do. Like I I grew up watching TV series and 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 I I thought the certain people on TV were cool and I wanted to act like them and and talk like them and and then you absorb all that and then you ended you end up doing it when you're out with friends or you know you I was I absorbed so much stuff from other people and and I didn't have a voice of my own um I had a friend who who I'd hang around all the time and his thinking was not the best his beliefs were terrible and his language and and his behavior was very foul and that would bleed out to my life where when I was away from him I would use his language use his beliefs I would think like him and then I would be like whoa I'd catch myself and be like whoa I just I just thought like him for 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 a moment there I I I heard his vo- his voice in my head. Oh, wait, I caught that. Okay, well, wait a second here. Maybe hanging around him all this time is just terrible. And and as I recovered from anxiety, I, I spent time apart from him. And then, and then I realized when I went back to, to visit him one time, I noticed his habits and, and his beliefs were just so different from mine my new beliefs that I've adopted and I was just like wow we're just n- we're just not alike I don't I don't want to spend all of my time around somebody who's not going to benefit me in the long run and that's what's really important it's about recognizing people around you who are going to benefit you in the long run who are going to make you successful who are going to challenge your thinking challenge who you are as a person and that's what's really important okay you know popular thinking could also include doctors and this is so important too because doctors go to medical school they go to school and they learn a way to treat certain things and that's that right but every day we're discovering new ways of curing this and curing that. And I've listened to podcasts where doctors would talk about, good doctors, mind you, good doctors, would talk about how the mind would, would create physical ailments, how, how certain natural herbs, natural uh, techniques can cure certain ailments rather than taking medications and drugs and stuff like this. And, and so much of this has been coming forward in books and through, for me, it was Wim Hof, um, a breathing method and taking cold showers and, 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 and this kind of technique would help strengthen my immune system so I would get sick less and I would have more energy throughout the day. I I was more alert and I felt more healthy, right? Just from this breathing method from Wim Hof. And I, I saw uh, an improvement in my mind and my thinking and and my social interactions and and even with uh no fab no fab improved my social anxiety and i it improved that pull that tug the tug that that would lead me into the wrong direction you know that that would send me down a path of of just addictions and and habits that would not benefit me in in the long run whatsoever and society and tv and radio and and music that's that's where a lot of popular thinking comes from like sitting in front of the tv during the day if you see all those infomercials where medicines and 
and people who are sick and ill and all of this stuff and, you know, take these medications and you're just going with popular thinking. There's so many ways that we can improve our health with natural remedies that we don't know about and we don't bother to think about because we're just going to the doctor and they're giving you prescriptions and they're just they're just treating you like a number and we don't really have our own opinion like we can't think for ourselves if we take the time to think about different ways to improve our life and read different books on it and 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 and, and watch videos who of people who've done certain techniques that worked for them and we practice that ourselves we can adopt new habits that can improve our thinking improve our lifestyle improve our health there's so much out there we just have to think for ourselves and that's what's important we can't just go with what other people are saying all the time co-workers complaining all the time about the weather or complaining about i don't know you know, things happening in their lives, they're eating garbage foods, they're not, they're not giving back to their bodies in any way. And it, this, this is important to understand that we have to step outside of our comfort zone and go against the norm in order to, in order to attain our own way of thinking. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Podcast number 11. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit www.unpluganxiety.com. I have one-on-one coaching there. If you need help, and if you're struggling with anxiety, or you're struggling with hopelessness, or if you're struggling with hypochondria, health anxiety, I provide coaching for you to overcome it. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast once again. I love you all. We can end anxiety together. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.